When waiting at the airport gate or looking up into the sky, do you often wonder what model of an airplane will be carrying you across continents or bringing you the next Amazon shipping? Probably not, but the world of commercial aviation is actually very active and diverse. Even though modern airliners can serve in the fleets for decades, the new releases are surprisingly frequent. In today's episode of Automotive Territory, we will deviate from the world of cars and will dive into the field of new passenger and cargo aircraft. Spoiler alert, these jets are bigger, more efficient, technologically advanced and simply beautiful. Subscribe to our channel before we get to the video and enjoy your flight. Airbus A350-1000 The newest and the largest model in the company's A350XWB airliner family, A350-1000, is a 242-feet-long twin-aisle wide-body aircraft that entered the commercial service in February 2018. With its fuselage and wings built using carbon fiber and reinforced plastic, it burns 25% less fuel than its closest competitors. The A350-1000 seats 366 people in a three-class layout and has the range of 8,400 nautical miles. The aircraft is powered by two Rolls-Royce Trent XWB-97 engines. Each of them provides 97,000 pounds of thrust on takeoff, making them the most powerful engines ever developed for Airbus. The model's cabin is built based on the brand's aerospace concept, which emphasizes comfort and service, and features 18-inch wide economy class seats, cabin noise cancellation, and LED ambient lighting that is designed to reduce jet lag. Strato Launch This massive aircraft stands out from the crowd due to its unique twin fuselage design, humongous size, and unorthodox purpose. The Strato Launch was designed as an alternative way of launching satellites into space, using the company-developed launch vehicles released from the specially constructed central wing. For their safer deployment, the model was given the largest ever wingspan, reaching 385 feet and a twin fuselage construction. Powered by six Pratt & Whitney engines, the aircraft can carry a maximum payload of 550,000 pounds, but its range is limited to 1,000 nautical miles. Previously, the first flight of the Strato launch was planned for the 2019, but it has been pushed back after the untimely death of the company's chairman and one of Microsoft's co-founders, Paul Allen. Unfortunately, the launcher program has also been placed on hold, and the future of this gigantic aircraft remains undecided. Embraer Lineage 1000E If you are tired of flying business class and are now ready to make serious transportation investment, Embraer has just the right private jet for you. Their all-new 1000E aircraft from the Lineage series is an ultra-large corporate jet with mid-range capabilities that is powered by two General Electric CF3410E engines. Depending on the chosen configuration, the model accommodates from 13 to 19 passengers and can be customized according to the customer's taste. It has five different cabin zones, including a double-sided galley, a separate dining area, a main room, an in-flight baggage compartment, and an optional master bedroom with a walk-in shower. Compared to the older Lineage 1000 that debuted in 2009, the new aircraft offers longer range of 4600 nautical miles and features new and flight entertainment with Apple TV, AirPlay, Wi-Fi, and a new digital cabin management system called Honeywell Ovation Select. Airbus Beluga XL one of the strangest-looking airplanes that currently exist is undoubtedly the Airbus Beluga that gets its name from a resembling Arctic and sub-Arctic cetacean, the Beluga Whale. In 2019, the new generation of this aircraft will enter service and it is labeled the Beluga XL or Airbus A330-743L. The major mission of the newcomer is to transport oversized aircraft components between Airbus's production facilities. In fact, with 30% more capacity than the existing Beluga, it is able to carry two entire A350XWB wings instead of just one. The giant is powered by two Rolls-Royce Trent 7000 turbofans that make 316 kN or 71,000 pounds of thrust each and allow it to carry 50.5 tons of payload at the cruise speed of 398 knots. The development and the production of the Beluga XL project cost Airbus 1 billion euros, and it is not expected to be sold to other companies. Airbus ACJ 320 Neo In case a small business jet is not enough to fit billionaire's ego, 
or if the travel arrangements require bringing along an army of personnel and bodyguards, then there is no other choice but to fly a corporate jet. This family of aircraft is the pinnacle of luxury, a house with wings of sorts, and the new Airbus ACJ320neo is the latest addition. The model is based on the super successful narrow body A320, but it has increased service ceiling of 41,000 feet or 12,000 meters and longer range. This configuration of the jet can carry 25 passengers to the distance of 6,000 nautical miles, and being equipped with the latest generation NEO power plant is showing 15% increase in efficiency. The ACJ320 NEO has the widest and the tallest cabin in the industry, and the fully customizable layout provides truly infinite possibilities in creating unique spaces that offer the best comfort and functions. Boeing 77X while there is still more than a year before this beauty rolls off the conveyor in the summer of 2020, Boeing has already called its new twin-engine 777X the best performing and most spacious and comfortable long-range aircraft in the world. Available in two modifications, 777-8 and 777-9, it features more fuel-efficient GE-9X engines by General Electric and new composite wings with folding wingtips, which are supposed to bring operating costs per seat down by 10%. With a range of 8,700 and 7,600 nautical miles, the models can carry up to 375 and 425 people respectively. The new 777 also features a number of interior changes, adopting the best practices of the 787 Dreamliner. These include a wider cabin with 343 seating configuration, wider windows and new lighting. In addition, each seat gets a wireless charging pad and a console that controls entertainment and seating settings like ventilation and incline. If you do enjoy our format of videos, make sure to check out some suggested episodes within the aviation topic. The links are waiting for you in the description. Let's keep rolling! Mitsubishi Regional Jet The project to build the Mitsubishi Regional Jet, the first Japanese airliner in the last 45 years, was launched back in 2003 and has been since pushed back several times, requiring significant design modifications. The 90-passenger aircraft eventually completed its first test flight in 2015 and has now logged over 2,000 hours in the air, and it is expected to pass certification by the end of the 2019. The final MRG model is brought to life by a pair of Pratt & Whitney PW1217G engines, developing a typical cruise speed of 447 knots. Today, the program continues to be led by the Mitsubishi Aircraft Company in cooperation with big Japanese conglomerates such as Toyota and Subaru. If everything goes as planned, the company will start delivering first out of the 407 ordered units in 2020, and a smaller 70-passenger version of the original jet will be introduced by 2022. Boeing 737 MAX 9 the new family of Boeing MAX commercial jets is coming to replace the aging 737 NG generation. The MAX 9 is the latest of its members to pass certification and enter service in 2018. The elongated 138-feet fuselage provides maximum 220 passengers' capacity, and the production cabin standard will be the Boeing Sky interior with overhead bins and LED lighting based on the Boeing 787. The aircraft has the range of 3,515 nautical miles, improved aerodynamics, and is using new, more efficient engines, Leap 1B from CFM International, which ensure 14.5% better fuel economy. However, it must be mentioned that to pass certification, the construction of the new engines required the implementation of the maneuvering characteristics augmentation system. The system is currently under suspicion of being responsible for the fatal crashes of two MAX 8 airplanes, which led to the loss of 346 lives. As of today, all the Boeing MAXs are grounded, including the ninth model. An investigation is taking place, but the production continues. Airbus A330-800neo Talks about a new engine option for the company's A330 airliner have been circling around since 2010, and in July 2014, Airbus launched the development for the new A330neo program. As a result, two airplane models were produced the larger 900 and the more recently the smaller 800, which completed its first flight on November 6, 2018. The new 800 Neo is powered exclusively by the new Rolls Royce Trend 7000 engines and is 25% more efficient than the previous generation A330. 
It also adds a weight-saving fuselage construction and redesigned wings with the new composite chocolates, better aerodynamic properties and longer span that now reaches almost 210 feet. The aircraft accommodates 257 passengers, delivering the quietest flight experience in its class with the latest generation and flight entertainment system. We must mention that so far only 10 units of the 800 NEO were pre-ordered, and its first deliveries should start in early 2020. Irkut MC-21 This rare bird is a single-aisle twin-jet airliner produced by Irkut, a branch of the Russian National United Aircraft Corporation. The jet will be manufactured in two configurations, the 300 with a capacity of up to 211 passengers and 3500 nautical miles range, and the upcoming shortened version 200. The Irkut MC-21 has a carbon fiber reinforced polymer wing and is powered by Aviat Vigatel PD-14 or Pratt & Whitney PW-1000G turbofans that generate 20,000 and 31,000 pounds of thrust respectively. The manufacturer is betting heavily on the commercial success of this airliner, which could be noticed in the name that is translated from Russian as mainline aircraft of the 21st century. Interestingly, they claim to have already received 175 firm orders and recorded 115 tensions with expected deliveries by 2021. However, the production keeps stalling due to the currently imposed US sanctions. What do you think about the newcomers? Will you be excited to fly one of these, or would you rather use the services of airlines with older and trusted models in the fleet? Share your opinion in the comments below. Make sure to visit suggested videos on the screen and subscribe to Automotive Territory for more informative videos. May the torque be with you!